Paul Zerdin is the British ventriloquist who won America's Got Talent back in 2015. And today he's launching his new YouTube series, Sponge Weekly. I'm Alistair Rimmer and this is Sponge Weekly, an amusing, enjoyable, exciting expression of exuberant entertainment. Oh yes, that's right. I am the cement between the bricks, the link man. I am indeed the missing link. Oh. Anyway, on with the show. Let's meet the main man, the man with the plan. Welcome, Paul Zerdin. And you're welcome to him. Hi, I'm Paul Zerdin, and thanks for tuning in. Oh, I thought he'd be doing a little bit longer than that. I know that feeling. Hello, Paul, how are you doing? Hello, Sam. I'm, I'm really good, Christine, how are you? Yeah, yeah. I'm very well. <laughs> And I have to just say that, you know, it, masks are acceptable now, so it's made ventriloquism so much easier. Paul, you do you know what? When, when I heard you were coming on, I thought, this is an interesting time for ventriloquists, <laughs> because really, we could all technically be very good ventriloquists as we Delicious. wear masks in a day-to-day -day life. <laughs> Loser, shut up. How are you? We're very, very good. I, I assume you don't wear a mask on stage. I do one joke about it, and then I actually try and uh, do proper ventriloquism. Okay. Yes. Come on. What? Let's see what. Let's see your ventriloquism. Is it moving? Is it moving? I don't think it is. Very, I've been practicing. Good. You still got it, Paul. You still got it. <laughs> so, Paul, tell us, you are back on the road. Um, I mean, it's such uncertain times for so many performers right now, but you are back um, all summer long. Tell us all about it. So, uh, in a world of live entertainment that's not been very live recently, uh, I'm very, very fortunate to be on tour doing Butlins. And so, on a Friday, I do uh, Bogner. Uh, I do three shows, 3 o'clock, 4.30 and 6. And we do these outdoor stages. So, they've built these amazing outdoor stages. And they have the audience socially distanced. Uh, and there's however many hundreds and thousands of people there. And uh, I do uh, Friday Bogner. Saturday, I'm in uh, Skegness. And Sunday, I'm in Minehead. And that's every weekend through, through the summer. And the audiences have been absolutely fantastic, even when the weather isn't so good. I mean, in Skegness the other week, uh, on the third show, I said to them, it started chucking down, and I, and I said, are we going to do this? And they said, if the audience is there, then we're doing it. I've got a roof over the stage, luckily, so that he, him and, and all the other characters don't get wet. Yeah, we go with frizzy. Yeah, frizzy and fuzzy, and then soak it up like a sponge. So it's not good if they get wet. But if the audience were happy to get wet, and they were sitting there, some with umbrellas, some with, you know, uh, just shorts and T-shirts, watching the show, getting slowly soaked, but they seemed to have a good time, and they didn't leave. So, um, you know, there was, a, there was a real sort of kind of British fighting spirit about it all. Just, you know, we're going to have a good time. We've, we've had a bad time recently, and now we're coming out of this, and we've waited all you know, months to have our holiday and we're going to make this work. And Excellent. so um, the gigs have been an absolute joy. We, we kind of need to be entertained. It's almost like a festival feel. Very much a festival. And having done festivals around the world over the last few years, it wasn't such a shock. It was just slightly weird. Being probably the strangest heckle was by a, heli a helicopter, the Coast Guard helicopter and seagulls at the same time. Oh, you know, right. <laughs> that's an interesting mix. <laughs> just to deal with that. But the audiences have been wonderful. Uh, so, Sam, I mean, it's quite an intense schedule, obviously. Um, you know, do you have time to relax? Do you have a bit of a rider list for each of your show? How does it work for you? Well, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's quite tough being a puppet on the road. And, um, oi. What? Oi. What? Look at me when you're talking to yourself. All right, OK. <laughs> yes. It's all right. It's OK, isn't it? Yeah, we've had a good time. Yeah, and we're, we're enjoying the show. Yeah, yeah, the audience is fantastic. They're really all great. Aren't they? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, look, oi, oi, oi. What? Look at you, Zerdin. What? Come on, let's just, can I just, uh, I just want to analyse the situation. The situation? Yes. I mean, AGT. Yeah, we did America's Got Talent. That's a while ago now. Yeah, the Dolby Theatre. Yes. Radio City Musical. Yes. Planet Hollywood. Las Vegas. That's right. And now, live on telly, in your kitchen. <laughs> you are living the dream, Zerdin. <laughs> Well, it's funny you bring all of that up, Sam, because I was actually going to say to you, Paul, you have had the most incredible career. This love of ventriloquism started up by the age of 10, and then you're winning America's Got Talent. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, there's, there's a, yeah, that's, a, I mean, that was just a weird time. I mean, I, I had a, you know, fairly successful career here, but I just, something just made me think, well, maybe I should just dip my toe in the market in the water in, in America. So I went and, and, uh, and had a go, and I remember walking out on the first, the first audition, which was at the Dolby Theatre, you remember? Yeah, I was there. Yeah, and um, just thinking to myself, why am I putting myself in this in this situation, walking out in front of these very you know intimidating-looking judges? 
uh, when I've actually got a, you know an all right career. But there was just something inside me that just thought, oh, you should have a go. You know, you don't know if you don't try. And luckily, it kind of it worked out all right. Oh, it was fantastic, honestly. What an experience it must have been. But um, so the, your new YouTube um, series is called Sponge Weekly. It starts today. Tell us all about it, Paul. What have you got for us? So this, this, first of all, this came about as soon as the lockdown began and my local gym shut. I just thought, right, I've got to keep trim. So I just started, I just went running. So I've been running about nine and a half, 10K virtually every morning since lockdown began. And it somehow, it just sort of made my, my creative juices flow. And, uh, and I was coming up with crazy ideas. So I'd come back, I'd, I'd have a coffee, I'd write them all down. And over the last few months, I've just sort of put all these ideas together. And it's become this show, Sponge Weekly, which is a, basically a, it's a sketch show. It's, uh, it's fast paced. It's me and Sam. Yeah. There's Albert, uh, Sam's grandpa. There's the baby. And there's a couple of other characters that you may not have seen. Uh, there's some, some hidden camera pranks. Uh, that I do with, with um, we've done like, a, um, for example, a drive through with a puppet. So ordering a coffee and then coming up to the window to collect the coffee and there's a puppet there and me driving, but the, the, the puppet's there to collect the coffee just to see if someone would have, have a conversation with the puppet. And uh, most times we, we shot lots of different versions of it. And most times people were happy to just have a conversation with the puppet, very matter of fact, <laughs> uh, which, which was fun. Just doing some other sort of pranky things, sitting next to someone, opening my, opening my book and a, and a voice comes out. It's like a talking book, but my lips aren't moving and just filming people's reactions. So it's just a way of trying to make ventriloquism, yeah. you know, sort of fresh and 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 um you know and still funny yeah exactly that and your your little nephew's taking part as well yeah you like you like sammy don't you yeah he's cool so sammy is there we are that, that's him he's my nine-year-old nephew and uh he, this came about from a zoom conversation with my sister during lockdown and uh and sammy my nephew came on uh, into uh shot and then i was having a chat with him and then I, all of a sudden i thought it might be funny just to put the put sam up against the screen my end and it ended up with Sammy, my nephew, and Sam having a chat, and it was—he was talking about lockdown, at homeschooling, all these things that you know the kids have, have been going through, um, and it just gave me an idea. It was like two two mates having a chat, and I thought, oh, that's a good idea. I can use a bit of that for this new show. So he now features quite heavily in, in the show. Good and, for uh, him. That sounds brilliant. Yeah. So just before you go, I wanted to ask you, what's it like to, to share the stage with Albert and Baby and Roger, one of the sort of relatively new characters? Um, what is it like to maybe not just always have the limelight on you? Well, actually, I, I quite like that, really. It takes the pressure off, in a way. And there's a, there's a sketch I do at the very end of my show, which is at, uh, I'm doing all of the, all the shows at uh, Butlins at the moment, where I do like a three-way uh, quiz show uh, kind of Mickey take and it's basically I'm with Sam here then there's the baby uh, in his high chair where he's radio controlled and there's the old man in his scooter over there and we're doing a quick fire quiz where I'm asking the questions of the, as the host and then the puppets are answering and I'm doing obviously their different voices and the other day I was busy just looking at that there was a seagull circling around and I thought he looks like he's going to make uh, he's going to he's going to attack me on stage so I was busy thinking about what to deal with how to deal with the seagull and I realized I was answering Sam's voice uh, the punchline in Albert's voice. So Sam was like, yes, that's right. And it was all a bit weird. And so I got all the voices completely confused, but I got away with it. The audience love it when things go wrong. And and the fact that I've got animatronic puppets, which I, I'm, I'm pretty, you know, I'm pleased with myself about that. As I'm packing the stuff up, leaving uh, Bogner, I could hear this little kid going, that's him. And I said, hello. And he said, I really liked your puppet show. And I thought, yeah, that's it, Zerdin. Don't get above yourself. It's just a puppet show. <laughs> Well, Paul, thanks so much for talking to us this morning. And Sam as well. Thank you so much, Sam, for taking time oh, to have a chat with us. Thank you. Pleasure. Lovely to see you, Christine. Thank you so much, Sam. We will catch up with you both soon. And Paul's series Sponge Weekly starts today on YouTube at 5pm. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.